So an important part of playing bridge is the bidding. But if you, when you were bidding, if you were just allowed to say your bid, you might accidentally give away more information than you had intended to or are legally able to. And so in this case, we have a helpful tool here, the bidding box. And it's got a lot of bids which help you make your bid without having to say anything or trying to communicate anything extra with your bid. So here we start off with some, some of the more accessory bids. So we have stop and alert bids. These are more technical and for a tournament when you might need to alert, the, alert one of your bids, this is a special kind of bid, or you need to stop the play because something weird has happened. But for now we won't really need these, so we'll just put them away. Here are two other cards, the redouble, the card with two X's on it, and just the regular double, with a card with an X on it. Legally, these have the meaning of raising the stakes of the game, but often they're used to signal other things, but we won't really deal with those right now either. The suits. So in this case, clubs are the lowest, followed by diamonds, hearts, spades, and no trump. Okay, so when you want to make a bid, you should kind of push the card back that you want to bid, then pull out the entire stack behind it, put it face up in front of you so that your partner can see it. So in this case, this bid is one spade. Okay, and so the next time somebody wants to bid, for example, they want to bid hearts, you can see that, you know, the one heart bid is already gone in my bidding box. So it, even, it'll be there in some other bidding box, but the meaning of this is that you can't bid one heart again because one heart is lower in rank than one spade. So if you were to want to bid a heart, then you would have to bid at least two hearts. And when you lay down your second bid on top of your first bid, you don't want to cover the first bid. And the reason for this is so that yeah, the bidding sequence can be kept track of throughout the entire auction. Okay, and then some other bids, you know, for example, here's two no trump. And then whatever else might happen, and then eventually you'll pass. And then once the auction's done, you can put the pass back, then you kind of collect the cards like this, squish them together, and then just put them in the back of the bidding box like this.